Hi there. So nice to talk to you again today. When I began this daily diary, I wasn't quite sure what it was going to be like, and there was a little bit of apprehension about putting myself out into the world and being seen in this way. I'm used to kind of hiding behind the magazine and hiding behind the mic on the radio, and this is me being real and transparent and putting my heart out there and being willing for you to see the good, bad, and the ugly for the rest of this year as I go through this amazing adventure that's about to unfold, which I will be announcing on Monday. So I want to kind of fill you in with little bits and pieces of how I got to this point of making these huge, ginormous decisions of of things that I have never done before. And, and a lot of people are going to think she's losing her mind. But, um, and maybe I am. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Maybe we're supposed to just go for it and not think about it and really live this life with reckless abandon and ecstasy and just go for it, whatever we want. But as you can tell, I've been up quite a while uh, packing boxes. It seems that I have a contract on my house and that is wonderful because uh, I had planned to be moving, just not quite this quickly. Um, and it is interesting how when you set your mind on something, an intention to do something, everything else starts to happen uh, to make your life that much busier or to maybe make you question, what am I doing? All this other stuff is happening at the same time. And so, yes, I am packing up boxes and I will be putting my things into storage for the next year. They are not going to be going into any other place but a storage unit. And why? Well, it looks like I'm taking off. I'm taking off on an adventure, and I can't wait to share that with you. Um, but I want to get into a little bit of how I came to this decision and why and the mission and my personal why and everything that's involved so that you can kind of be filled in and hear what really got me to this point. Um, and the reason I want to do that is so that you can tap into some of the symbols and signs and messages that you get and start to see, you know, am I listening or am I, am I not? Am I, am I allowing myself to go for it or am I questioning everything that is coming in front of me and trying to be practical and logical about it? And yesterday I talked about my journey of 1111 and how I went to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, which was huge. That was a huge uh, breakthrough for me because I did something. I went on a trip by myself. I'd never done that before. It was overseas. Um, I climbed this mountain, which had always seemed like this monumental thing so that I could get through printing, uh, creating the magazine. And what was so interesting about that is when I returned because I got back and the day that they were supposed to deliver the very first premiere issue of the magazine to my home. And the truck pulled up and they unpacked all these boxes uh, into the garage and then they left and there I was surrounded by all of these cases of magazines that I wasn't even quite sure of what I was going to do with. I had just decided I was going to give them all away and I was going to um, get them out and I really didn't have a plan. I, I just kind of was going day to day doing what I thought I needed to do and I had all these boxes sitting in front of me and and there I was in the midst of them and I got the scissors and I went to one box and I opened it up and I stopped before I even saw the magazine. And I remember that day and my heart is actually feeling this right now because it still brings up sadness. I remember on that day thinking, I'm here. I'm in this garage by myself with this magazine that I've spent six months creating. And I've been so strong, and I've climbed a mountain. And I'm about to open this box and have this thing in my hand that is my heart and my soul. And no one is here. No one's here to share that with me. No one's here to say, yay, Simi, you did it. No one was there. And I opened the box and I pulled out the first issue. And the theme of that issue was reclaiming your innocence. And I pulled out that first issue and I held it. I held it to my heart. And I thought, wow, one of the most amazing, huge things I've ever done in my life. And I'm the only one here to celebrate it. And in that moment, I realized that we are really here to celebrate ourselves. Yeah, it's great to have the acknowledgement of others. It's, it's fabulous. 
that others see us and hear us and are able to, to acknowledge what we do. But in the end, there's only one person that counts. It's only your own approval. It's only that you need to celebrate who you are. It's only that you celebrate the gifts that you have to the world and stick to them and stick to your dreams and keep going for what you want to go for. Because in the end, that is you. That is your soul and your heart, and that is your way to shine bright in the world. And so I just wanted to share that with you because if you've ever been in that place where you've had an achievement or you've wanted to do something and you felt so utterly alone and you made it and there was not a soul around to see it, not a soul around to watch it, I want you to know that the most important one that had to be there was there, and that's you. Because there's only one in the room, and it's you and God. And God saw it, and you saw it. So celebrate who you are. Celebrate every single thing that's ever happened to you, every wound and every triumph. And with that, go forward and allow yourself to have more and more and more and keep walking and never stop, never stop going after your dreams because it's not really for anyone else. It's not for the people out there. We're not here to save anyone. We're not here to rescue anyone. We're not here to heal anyone. We are here to just create and express and blossom and be. And that is what I do. I just be me. And the me that I be is someone who shares and loves and wants to give of my heart and wants to create expansively and wants to know how amazingly beautiful and expansive this version of me can be. Regardless of the numbers of versions I've come in the past that I've reincarnated in, regardless of the number of lives I've lived in this life, right now I want to know the beauty of this version of me and how it will evolve and change. And so I thank you for coming on this journey with me. And I so look forward in the next few days to sharing what is going to be one of the most monumental, amazing mountains and triumphs and journeys and experiences of myself that I could ever know. And I'm willing to go for it. And I want you to go for it with me. So until tomorrow, I love you. I see you. I hear you. The divine in me honors completely the divine in you. And I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. So have a fabulous day. In love, of love, with love. And laughter. I'm Simran. Be well.